Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 2 of Shadowrun Returns, the adventures of Mags. We are here in the moor, we're looking at Sam's body. Dresden, our lovely dwarven coroner friend, here he is. Just told us perhaps we should take check out a couple of these uh, slabs. Before we do that, despite the fact it does sound like an intriguing prospect, we're going to just have a look at old Sam's body first. Sam's body is half covered by a sterile surgical sheet. His face is in ashen white, for the first time without a smirk on it. Below the chest there are a small pencil fin incision covered in dried blood. Beyond that, the corpse is immaculate. It would seem the killer knew exactly what they wanted from him and took it. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing the evidence found on his body. You can examine it, sev the evidence from the bag without spoiling it. Look at the business card. Moving things around, you can see, you can make out it's a card for a place called the Seamstresses Union. There is something handwritten on the black on the back, but blood has made it intelligible. Look at the cred stick. It's standard cred, cheap unsecured cred stick. No way of knowing what's on it without slotting it. Fuck it, I'll have it. Three hundred new yen has been added to your account. Sweet. Look at the purple shirt. It's Sam's shirt. Several of the buttons are missing and the blood has thoroughly soaked it. The bag sloshes a bit in your hand. Look at the handwritten note. You can only see part of the note, given the torn off bits and the blood stains. Sam, I feel terrible that we are arg da 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 da. We have been da 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 long da 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 to say I'm so da da da. See you there. Love Jessica. Put down the bag. Hmm, Jessica. And the seamstress's union. Well, if you don't mind, Dresden, I'm just going to raid your shelves a bit. I hope you don't mind, mate. Medkit. Dock Wagon Basic Trauma Kit. Yummy. Let's see what we got. So, essentially, we have in Cyberware a data jack. Some kind of smart link, rigor clothing, two med kits, and this is basically a revive. And we have 300 new yen. Apparently, one of the things that I read was that a new yen is equivalent of one standard American dollar of the modern day. Alright, let's check this out. The cold storage drawer is labeled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. Open the drawer. The cold storage drawer opens to reveal the fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest. In addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen, the body seems to be in very good condition. Whoa, easy there. In one quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. You spot a data track chilled into his temples and some shamanistic tattoos peeking above his collar. An interesting combination. I told John to wake me up at six in the morning. Is it six yet? Don't feel like six yet. Sorry, didn't expect you to be so alive. Yeah, Dresden thinks he's pretty funny. You're not the first person who's pulled that one on. He's just laughing in the back there. Hoo 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 hoo. He chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I noticed you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? Uh, we'll go for... The latest ripper victim. Did you know? No, I'm looking into the death of Sam Watts. The coroner seems to think you can help me out. Sam, eh? Glad someone cares. We used to drink together every now and then. Over at the Union. Decent enough guy. Always in trouble over something. Or another, though. Mm-hmm. Jake yells towards the other side of the room. John, this guy cool? Yeah, he's on the level. Working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man's switch. I thought you could help him out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. He pauses. Might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell behind those shades. Or Avon, the name's Jake, and you are. Call me Mags. Nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like I'm taking a dive into the deep end here. J 
John's right. I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of, of the murder. Poor guy, he was hanging around at the seamstress's union that night, tripped out and rowdy. I'd be laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Mrs. Kabuta said, asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But out in the alley, some gang has got to jump on me. He winces. Damn. Maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, could you grab me a cup? Get your own damn cup. My hands are dirty anyway. Now, what's the lung of this intestine? You hear a loud squelching sound as Dresden continues his work. Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big fat corp bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't go exactly according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got to jump on me. Damn gangers. Thought they could pull a quick profit off my head. Jake smiles, and you get the impression that didn't work out so well for the gangers. Sam stumbled off during the fight. Oh, and that's the last time I saw him, until he turned up here, dead on arrival. Reminds me of the last stay in the place. You've done this before? It's a long story. I end up in morgues more often than the average guy. Yeah, Jake here's the regular. Should have started a reward card. Jake, a couple of more visits and you get a free night's stay. Jake laughs. I'll hold you to that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union, missing liver and all. I tell you what, you look like you can handle yourself in a fact. I could use some backup again to settle a little score of these Halloweeners out there. The leader's got a whole gang searching the barrens for me. I need to get rid of these assholes. Mm-hmm. In return, I'll take you to a place Sam was murdered. It's not so safe to hit the streets alone at night. Trust me. Jake eyes you up and down. And maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. Mm-hmm. What do you say? I do my bit for street justice every now and then. All right, Jake, count me in. Me and my bot. Great. I've been hiding out here ever since the running with those Halloweeners. Whiny bunch of gangers. This stretcher of barons is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised we even made it to this morgue in one piece without packing some heat. He yells over his shoulder. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So, you need a weapon? Uh, give me a pistol, please. My weapon of choice as well. Here, take this one. We got a Ficetti Security 500. So we're ready for an art on town? Just a minute, tell me some more about these gangers. Well, for one of the nasty gangs in town, the symbol is a flaming jack o' lantern, but you wouldn't like their version of trick or treating very much. Around here, they're led by a troll named John Paul. He's got a Halloweeners in the barren looking for me. We take him out, maybe I'll breathe a bit easier. Alright, I'm ready. Follow your lead, the Halloweeners aren't looking for you yet. You can leave whenever you're ready. Okay, let's make sure that my pistol's in my... Alright, pistol's in my uh, pocket. Oh, bye Dresden. See ya, chap. Thank you. Cheers, sir. Let me use your morgue for a bit. Head out into the barons. Confirm. The Redmond Barons. Run in the Seattle spra sprawl, and sooner or later you'll find yourself in the Redmond Barons. Doesn't take, doesn't matter your business. The Barons doesn't like you. Take one part radioactive wasteland, three parts dog eat dog slum. Add a dash of tourist trap, and you've got a recipe for mean as hell. You leave the sanitized death and formaldehyde of Oregon grinders behind, entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops a moment to breathe deeply. Filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He exhales with an expression of wry contentment. For stench and grime, tell him he's home. Alright, let's spin this shit. My stash is just around the corner, in the alley. Mm hmm. Holy smokes! Oh, fancy ladies. Slots. Oh my god, SimSense Entertainment. Is it this alley? No. I don't know why I've given ja Jake the voice of Elvis, but I approve. Who are you? Does the bus stop here? 
Uh, I don't know. Dude, it's like the future. There shouldn't be buses. There should be like, I don't know, mega buses that fly. Looking for a date? Elves are my favourites. Uh, no thanks. Okay, here we go. Hidden in the garbage strewn all the way is a high-tech safe with a mag card reader on the front. Open the safe with Ma Jake's mag card. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that perfectly matches your skills. You take the gear. Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, I got it. Oh, piss. Hand over the loot, bozos. Ow! You just punched me in the shoulder, you dick. And threw a grenade at me. And my poor Doberman. Dude, that was not cool. That was just... A fucking dick move. I'm turning... This is now online. He is not pleased. Hello. Hello. Shit. Missed. Okay, um, get some cover. Jake. You get around here. And you shoot him. There we go. So, welcome to the Barons. Guess I'll need to find a new hiding spot for my gear. Good dead drops are so hard to keep. Well, at least there were two dumb to break my monarch lock. Now that we got you some gear. Let's go deal with the Halloweeners. Oh. Just a local prostitute stood there like nonchalant. Let's go through here. Who are you? You seem stoned off your tits. Do you like my robot? Hello, you're Vlad. As you approach, the man sizes you up. You can see the age-old fight or flight equation running beneath his drug-clouded eyes. Beneath the track marks on his arms, you spot a set of tattoos that indicate he is, or at least once, was a shaman. What's your story? Nothing. No story. Nothing. Just leave me alone. I didn't see anything, I swear. Calm down. I'm Max. What's your name? My name... My name is Vlad. Vlad, those are some nice tattoos. Are you a shaman? The word shaman strikes chord. He seems to shake off some kind of mental cobwebs. Yes, I am shaman. Thought so. Vlad, what did you see? Yes, I saw something the other night. I saw a spirit so dark, so early on that. Vlad trails off and shudders. Where did you see the spirit? Just across the street from Seamstress's Union. It's gone now, Vlad. It's not going to kill you. You're safe. Thank you. I think you're right. I feel better now. More whole. Now, need some sleep. Oh, that's the local stoner calmed down. And more shit going down at Seamstress's Union. Who are you? Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Clothes may be dirty, but this woman is far from downtrodden. Hey, it's not my business, but I wouldn't go that way. Why, what's going on? Just some Halloween is stirring up trouble again, she points to herself. Rode in this morning on those fancy backs, set up camp in the old street market. They've been marching up and down the streets all day, shaking anyone that wanders past. Typical. Well, odds are these are guys we're after. Hmm. Anything else we should know about these gangers? Well, the lead is a big old troll named John Paul. Real piece of work, even for a wiener. Yep, that's him. Jake sh checks his pistol. Sounds like a friendly bunch. Are you going to be out? Going to be safe out here? She laughs. You think I'm dumb enough to get caught out in the open by one of these assholes? Nah. I know his street's like back in my hand. Worry about your own skin. Thanks for the heads up. Null sweat. Who are you? Worried man. The man before you appears well-mannered but nervous. Excuse me, sir. I don't know you, but you look like you can handle yourself in the fight and I need some help. What's your problem? 
Some figs, fogs are shaking down the market we've set up here. It's been getting worse lately. I don't think we can afford to pay them anymore, but no one wants to stand up to them, and Lone Star's not about to get involved. Where's this market? It's just around the street. Please, our livelihoods depend on this market. Let's go beat up some local ruffians, then. Is there a map? Nope. There is no map. Penis. Well, let's find something markety looking. Oh, is that main objective or is that, that looks like the market? That must be blue. Must be secondary objective. Some kind of techno elf on a poster. Commerce is like a weed, taking root in the cracks and crevices of the world wherever it can. A small street market has flourished here amidst the crumbling buildings of the Redmond Barons. Look, mate, just pay up. But we barely have anything left. Not my problem. Pay up in morning or else. Head Fug. Ooh, is that actually a job title? The fug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper. The old woman is holding firm, but you can see the Fug's patience fading fast. And he looks like he's about to start breaking things. Over the alley, you. Hmm. Bet your mum's real proud of you right now. Yep, in doubt. Go for a mum comment. Like, I ain't never heard that one before. I don't see a badge, so why don't you mind your own? Because dusting you is going to get me paid. I knew you were looking to call static. Dash, ice, this guy. You're fragging dead. Uh, your shotgun sucks. Mr. Tumnus? That's what I'm going to call you, my dear droney. Shoot that mage fug. Mage fug, no longer a problem. Shoot the head fug. Jesus. And... Nope. Missed. Nope. Excellent. Well, that's the local fox deal. Dealt with. How are you, old lady? I cannot thank you enough. I hate to see such bloodshed, but these men will not take no for an answer. We simply want to make our way in the world. The hop shopkeeper holds out a few knee and Please, it's still the least we can do. Keep it. You need it more than I do. Uh, probably wasn't much anyway. And we've got that warm, fuzzy feeling. And now we're flanking John Paul. Oh, I guess that's the uh, Halloween symbol there. And a magic tree. Best kind of tree. Halloween century. Hey, that's right. Take another step forward and we're going to plant you right there. This is Halloween property now. This is one or two that got away. If I had missed my shot, these idiots would have given up and moved on by now. Wait a minute. You're all new, Jake. Bad idea, chummer. The Halloween is going to collect that bounty. And killing you? Well, that's a nice bonus. Alright. Let us prepare for a spot of the old after oh, kiss. <laughs> spot of the old ultraviolence. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tumnus, turn on. Rightio. Mr. Tumnus, shoot that man. Shoot him dead. Good work. Okay, now I shall shoot the mage a little. Missed. Bugger. Oh god, there's ley lines there. Forget that. She's gonna have like suit up spells. And you missed. Huh. Oh god, is she stumbling? No. My robot! Do not shoot Mr. Tumnus. That sounded painful. Oh well, enjoy. 
You're dead, Jake. Dead. I'm assuming that Jean-Paul... Stop hitting my drone! Whoa, uncle, uncle. I was just playing with you. I'll call off the rest of Halloween is Jake. Call it even, yeah? What do you think, Jake? He smoked. Hey, I'm already a shoot on sight status with these guys. Killing Jean Paul means one less wiener to shoot me in the back when I'm buying smokes. Hell, they'll be doing the same to you as soon as there's profit on it. Yeah, you're right, let's kill him. Due to that, you seem to be bullying old ladies. Oh, Drek. <laughs> Yay! Cold blooded execution. That was done nice. Let's check that woman's alright. And that man, no, no reward. Thank you! Oh, I got a thank you. An advertisement that's totally not coke. Uh, don't worry mate, the gangers are a bit dead. Anything going on down here? No. No idea what that means. Mmm, fruit. Why, if you were a deadly street gang, would you take over a fresh fruit stall? Surely there are better prizes in the world. You know, not that I'm insulting them for the want of having one of a five a day, but... Ah, the seamstresses union. Nerps, buy them at your local. I, I do enjoy a nerp. The fuck is a nerp when it's at home? Here we go. Ah, all murdery. As you approach the scene of Sam's murder, Jake spies a flashing red and blue lights ahead. Whoa, hold up a minute. Lone Star isn't above collecting on a corp issued bounty. And one of my head isn't going away soon, he sighs. Sorry, friend. I think this is where our paths diverge. Thanks again for helping with those Halloweeners. Here's your payment. But don't take new yen where I'm going. And you look like you could use the funds. Bye, right, well, Jake. Give me a call when you're out in the clear. Yeah, sure. He starts to leave and t then tilts his head back. Hey, one more thing. When you're done checking out your pal's crime scene, pop into Seamstress's Union. It's down the street. You need gear, information, or a damn swift drink? That's the best place to be. Best dive this side of Chicago. I used that place as a base of operations for years back in the day. Might have right for meet very right friends there, and I'm sure you'll make it to the bottom of this ripper business. Uh-huh. Well, nice knowing you. Hmm. Jake turns and disappears into shadowy depths of the Redmond Baron. My only friend, no. <laughs> I'm so lonely. See what we got going here. Hi. Here to look at your murder. The bright yellow police tape cuts through darkness, detecting, directing your eyes to the white chalk outline of dark red stain marked on a slab pavement where Sam Watts died. Standing at the entrance to the alley is a Lone Star officer. The cop looks cold, hungry, and irritated at the homeless man who's currently pestering him. I keep telling you, I need to get my stuff from the alley or I'm going to die in the cold tonight. I've been trying to, to explain to you, this is an official Lone Star investigation. I can't any let anyone in here. Hey, I got rats. Look, you sinless garbage. I've got a job to do. Find a new blanket, or I'll find a reason to use my stun button. Typical. I hate all you pigs. Now what? Uh, Nothing, just pass by. See what the hobo has to say. The streets have not been kind to this man, but they've also hardened him. This is clearly a survivor, though one wrestling with the onset of age and arthritis. You saw what he did over there, that rap, rap bastard cop. What do you want? Know anything about the murder that took place here? 
He squints at you, suspicious. You a copper, or working for some corp? Nope, just as sinless as you. Mind answering a few questions? Hey, what makes you think I'm sinless? Huh, <laughs> just messing with you. Of course I'm sinless. System ID number, my ass. What kind of questions you got? Did you see the murder? Nope, can't say I'm sorry I missed it. I was hauling crates for Mrs. James up the market. Can't carry as much as I used to, so it took a while. Got back here in time to see a couple of tourists puking all over my home turf. By then, that jerk face in uniform had already set up shop in my alley. So, you live in the alley? Sure. The last couple of months, I've been sleeping on the job. Sleeping there. But I spend my days out doing odd jobs for street merchants or panhandling tourists over near Seamstress's Union. What else did you see that night? Hmm. Well, you know, earlier night, I saw a couple of big, ugly trolls in green hospital st scrubs snooping around. Forgot he bought over some donuts and two cups of soy calf off of Dan over there. Seems nervous, and he did everything with his left hand because his right was all screwed up with some cyberware. Can you tell me more about the troll cyberware? Well, it was big, and I think it must have been some hospital attachment because I saw some needles. It was a lot like the one I got back in 44 when I got captured by elves. They did all sorts of experiments on me. Let me tell you, never trust on them cyber people. That's all I needed to know, thanks. See you around. Okay, well, let's, uh... Hey there, young one. Let's talk to Officer Kuprik. You again? What? Um... Ah, here we go, we can use one of our tickets. What, they didn't tell you? Radio you? Damn operator's probably asleep again. I'm here to take cover over your shift. You can head back to base. Yeah, where's your uniform? Come on, clearly I'm not with the star. Private security contract. Temporary assignment. Sounding like your boss is short of you guys this week. Yeah, we've been spread pretty thin lately. Anyway, it's about fragging time someone showed up. Thanks for the relief. Bye. Your relief is just to stand over there. Don't mind my drone. Ah. Looks like coats and blankets that the old man was trying to get back. Examine for evidence. As you shuffle a bundle of clothes aside, a printed receipt falls out beneath folds of a blanket. It's a bar tab from Seamstress's Union, dated two days ago at 3.02am. Right around the corner was report time of death. The customer, Sam Watts. The server's name is listed as Coyote. Pick up the coats and blankets. And what's this? It's a shard of glass from broken lights. You find a small piece of glass which looks like the bottom of a test tube. There are two distinct sets of footprints. A human's ending at chalk outline and a large set, possibly an orca troll, following it behind the first. But work like it is new. You can s Oh, for fuck's sake. You can see the alley's normal lights have been ruined. Upon closer inspection, it seems they've been all been imploded from some kind of force at the same time. Alright, so our main culprit is possibly some kind of suspicious looking troll who bought a coffee and two donuts. Or two coffees and a donut, which would mean there's somebody else. Hey there, young one. Think these belong to you? My stuff, my decent of you. Don't see that kind of thing too often around here. No problem. I'm almost a bum. Okay, let's talk to Dan the Man. Dan the Donut Man. The smell of fried food, powdered sugar, and slightly burned soy calf is almost enough to overpower the dusty sewage stain of Rudman Street. The troll is working. The troll is working. The stand is covered in food stains older than he is. What can I get you, chummer? Uh, do you see the murderer in the alley across the way? Nope. I was closed when it happened. But hey, it's the Baron's a back alley killing's nothing new around here. The only reason the cops are making a big deal about it is because of the rip of this business. Is that some of the victims are real people, you know, folks with sin. What can you tell me about the Baron's? Baron's? Hell, if you had to ask, you probably shouldn't be out there. The stretch we're on is called Touristville, though, and I suppose it's the closest thing around here to respectable. 
Fewer muggings, and you might even survive drinking water if you're lucky. Wouldn't recommend it, though. He scratches his armpit. Now behind me, that's the seamstress's union. You want drinks, drugs, favours, or information around here? Union's your spot. Hell, the place is the reason I'm in business. Folks get the munchies when they party. Mrs. Kabuto opens the joint, and she's quality. A hard woman, but fair. You sell some donuts to a troll wearing scrubs last night? Maybe. What's it to you? Sell a lot of donuts to a lot of people. I know how Lone Star profiles met humans. I tell them about a troll that bought donuts from me right before the murder. They'll haul him in just to see if any, see if anyone will pay the bail. Not today, my friend. Come on, jelly donut and a soy cafe, please. Enjoy. See you. Anything else? No. Well, that seems like a good place to leave it here. We're just hitting about the 30 minute mark. I've purchased a lovely coffee and a donut, so I can give it here to Mr. Tumnus. Oh, who's a good little drone? It's you, isn't it, Mr. Tumnus? Oh, yes, it is. Ooh. Oh, he's so sweet. And we are suspicious of a troll. This guy won't give us any information because he's a troll, and he's also probably scared of racial profiling, which, um, yeah, not good. Board. So we've also found a seamstress's union. Um, best plan? Find Coyote. She appears to be the one who served Sam last. We're well on our way to solving this mystery. Alright folks, hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time for episode 3 of Shadowrun Returns. Do like leave some kind of comment or I don't know, anything. You know, just like some kind of vague notion of people are watching or enjoy it or hate it. I don't know. Never mind. Catch you later, folks. Bye!